Rafael Martin going to join us for a couple of minutes now. You talk about a nice, subtle, low-key Major League debut. You made it last night up there in Boston. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, it was something special for me. You know, didn't expect that to happen, but uh, it worked out. Well, the story that you have, Rafael, is incredible because it was more than 10 years ago. You work in construction, and all of a sudden you go to a tryout camp, and boom, here you are playing pro baseball. Yeah, I took the, the not the unique, I mean, I took the unique route. I mean, not the typical, you know, college and get drafted and are out of high school. Um, yeah, I worked construction for five years out of high school. As soon as I graduated, I worked straight into construction. Uh, I did concrete structures, so I did that for five years, and then I had a tryout in Mexico, and uh, luckily a scout saw me and invited me for a tryout, and then uh, I left. I, I followed my dream and gave it a shot. You realize every guy working construction out there now is saying, wait a minute, this is great. What a great story. Yeah, I love, you know, it gives other people hope. I mean, it's a long, long journey, but uh, thank God it, you know, it happened. And when you got to the Mexican League, you were pitching almost year-round. Little arm problems in the Mexican League, too. Yeah, I mean, I started in 07. I mean, I really had no coaching. I mean, I was just playing Sunday leagues, just rec, rec leagues on Sundays, you know, while we were in construction. Um, so, yeah, I had no coaching. Once I started, you know, I had a little bit of shoulders and then I just kind of didn't really know a shoulder program or, you know, how to work out. So once I learned that, uh, I kind of started gaining a little velocity and uh, that's when, you know, I started having a lot of scouts, you know, from, from here, from the MLB and, uh, and then the national assignment until I'm 10. Could you sense yesterday that this was going to be your time as that game progressed up at Fenway? You knew when that phone rang, maybe Lee Croy's going to say, hey, Rafael, let's go. Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially, the, you know, the night before we had, you know, a lot of guys pitch and uh, I knew our bullpen was a little beat up. So uh, kind of when I woke up yesterday morning, I kind of had that, you know, sense. I was like, okay, today might be the day. And uh, when that, that phone rang and he said, Martin, get going, I'm like, kind of, I was like, all right, this is it's happening. Uh, and uh, kind of, I was kind of nervous in the pen. Uh, but once I got out there, uh, kind of everything went away. And uh, everything was kind of normal for me. Nice to get your first major league strikeout at Hadley Ramirez. That's a tough guy to strike out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, especially, if, you know, I came up, you know, looking up to him. And I saw him play a lot. And uh, it was neat getting him out. Talk about the host family you stayed with, uh, uh, Phyllis and uh, Steve Wilson. A lot of guys in this clubhouse have been down there with that family. Yeah, they got a legacy going out there. I mean, I started from Jordan and uh, Desmond. I know Chris Marrero was there, Tyler Moore, Lombardozzi, uh, Solano. And there's a lot of guys. I mean, they got like 10, 11 guys that, who stayed there uh, and make it to, you know, to the big leagues. And most of them here with the Nationals. So uh, Desmond yesterday is like, hey, welcome to the legacy of the Wilson. So, yeah, Steve and Phyllis, yeah, they're, they're unique. Yeah. You pitch the seventh and you pitch the eighth inning at Fenway Park. That really helped this bullpen. This bullpen's been overtaxed of late. Yeah, I mean, I knew that coming in. So, uh, I mean, it's, as long as I get the job done and help the team out, it's, that's all that matters. Great to have you here. Great to have you making a tremendous debut like that. Just keep it up out there in that pen. Thank you, thank you. That's all I'll try to do. Okay, Rafael. Rafael Martin, our special guest.